You can invest in Rock and Vodka right now. Rock and Vodka is an emerging brand that's disrupting the spirit industry. So vodka was like the number one selling product at our bars. Brands would come to us all the time for a launch and they would do promotions in there. And I got tired of building other people's brands. And my wife and I were talking about this for quite a long time. And then we finally got my business partner, uh, Denny, involved. It was time to branch out and do something different. And came along, Rock and Vodka. So when, when I heard about Rock and Vodka, it's not like attaching to some known product. There's plenty of companies that make spirits and all kinds of things, but it's like, this is our stuff. It's bottled right here, near my hometown, but expanding around the world. It's like, that's what, that's what I've done. Rock and Vodka is very unique, very rare. There are very few sugarcane vodkas in the entire world. Of course, it's non-GMO, gluten-free. Our distillery, Rush Creek in Harvard, Illinois, has expanded to over 12,000 square feet. Just the last year alone, we've grown 84% in rock and sales. Our e-commerce has grown. It is incredible how fast we are touching other states, other markets, and how many people are coming on board. Over 900 locations nationwide, including two provinces in Canada. British Columbia and Alberta. I like the independent companies and restaurants and, and guitar makers. You know, I, I like somebody that's like creating something. And it's like cheap trick. It's like, well, you know, we're... We're not unique, but we're unique. And we're not, we're not the only one, but we're the only one that's us. Rock and Vodka's marketing is state of the art, thinking outside the box. We utilize the newest technologies that's out there. Twitter, Pixel, Metapixel, Google Analytics. We utilize lookalike audiences with a strategic heat censored missile that goes directly after the person who actually would consume Rock and Vodka or buy our merchandise. It's fun, it's exciting, it's changing the way people feel about vodka today. My favorite thing about the brand is, is the team that we've put together. Rick Nielsen, rock and roll Hall of Fame legend from Cheap Trick. This is Dax Nielsen, and this is Rock and Vodka. Michael Pulitz, the owner of Food and Beverage Magazine and leading expert in the food and beverage industry. A lot of our artwork comes from Shannon McDonald, the world's greatest Beatles artist. We just hired new sales representatives. We opened for Queen in 1977, before our first record came out. That's what really gave us a good boost. And Roger Taylor, the drummer, he took me to a place called Nikita's in London. It was a vodka only place. We had the best time there. So years later, I meet Andy, and he says, introduces me to this, and it was like, yes. It signaled to me a great time from years past, and why not carry it on to the future? That's basically why I said yes immediately. There are so many reasons to invest in this brand. The distribution centers all over the country, the Hard Rock casinos. Rick Nielsen's guitar is being built in front of the Hard Rock in Rockford, Illinois. We were just featured on the cover of Food and Beverage magazine, over 14 million monthly readers. We've been featured on Rachel Ray. Most recently on the Greatest of All Time episode. It's called Rock and Vodka. It's award winning, it's really good. Josh Balicki from NASCAR you can drive the Rock and Vodka car on PlayStation and Xbox. Corey Anderson in his Bellator debut, where he wore the Rock and Vodka trunks on valuable real estate. Rock and Vodka is a multi award winning spirit. We've just won our second double gold award at the Proof Awards, where all of the judges are buyers for major retailers in the United States. This is your chance to invest in Rock and Vodka, so don't miss it. And here you go. That's pretty lucky stuff. That's pretty cool.